Hey Hoodoo Loves, it's Miss Avi. Welcome to my channel Hoodoo Delish. Everyone who is new, great to meet you. And everybody who is back, great to see you again. This is a spell I am so excited to get to share with you finally. Um, this is a watermelon come to me spell. Now, this spell is one that I have tried to track down for quite a while. I finally found somebody to teach it to me about six months ago, and I always try to put things through at least a half a dozen to a dozen tests and see what kind of results I'm getting before I bring them to you guys. And this one has just performed so beautifully well. This love spell is designed not only to build love and romance in your target, but also to get them to open themselves up to that love and romance. So it kind of does both things, uh, getting and building those feelings and also getting them to admit that those feelings are there and act on them. So I love this one. And summertime, watermelons, fantastic. So the first thing you're gonna do for this spell and the first thing you're gonna need is a watermelon. You do not have to have a whole entire gigantic watermelon. I am using half of a watermelon and Traditionally, you would want to eat the rest of the watermelon. I know not everyone is gonna be able to do that. Some people are gonna have medical concerns. Some of you probably just don't like watermelon, but there's no real magical need to actually consume the watermelon. It's just sort of tradition. So if you can't do it, that's fine. If you don't like watermelon, that's fine. But you're gonna to wanna to get a nice, good, juicy watermelon and kind of hollow out the center of it a bit here. And we are going to try to make a space in the middle that is going to be approximately big enough for us to stick a candle into in a second. So starting with a watermelon, that's the first ingredient you need. I'm just gonna set this aside because I will eat this later. All right. And if you're wondering what's on the plate, I just have the watermelon kind of stabilized with a little bit of salt. There's no prayers or enchantments on the salt. It's just there to hold it still and steady. So you don't have to do anything special with that. But the rest of the things we are gonna be using for this work are an orange candle. We're going with orange for strength and power. Some red hot love rice. I have the recipe for this in a previous video, which you should be able to find. I'll try to post the link in the description as well. And you can use your own homemade or you can purchase it. Both will work. Rose water. Honey. Uh, cardamom pods. Mmm, smells so good. Cumin seeds. Roses and carnations. I'm using orange roses and red and red and white carnations. You can actually technically pick any color, but orange is kind of a theme with this work. And I will also be using Follow Me Boy oil from Conjured Cardia and Truth Serum Oil from Inexplicable Things. Now, these are technically optional. I do recommend using them, especially the Truth Serum Oil, but technically you can do this without these oils. So, here's what we're gonna do with all of these fantastic ingredients. First, we are going to get the candle, and we're gonna take both of our oils. Just follow me, boy. We're just gonna put a little bit on my palm, and Truth Serum, a little bit on the palm, just gonna pack that together, wake all that spirit up in those oils. We're gonna rub it onto the candle, just get it nice and saturated, bottom to top, rub all of that in there. And I have found this seems to, this is a spell that seems to respond very well to heat. Um, I am not actually sure why, but just getting your hands really warm and rubbing the candle so you can feel the candle is warming up and the wax is even getting a little sticky on your hands. It just seems to make it move faster and better. So we're going to go ahead and bless the candle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this candle to make love and desire to live with and marry and be committed to without any reservations or fears. Let him feel this deeply in the bottom of his soul and let it manifest beautifully, clearly, and cleanly. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down in here. And you're just gonna kind of work it into the watermelon a little bit, because you want it to stand up. There we go, like that. 
Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to not fall over. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is use some of our love rice here. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in and around. So remember this love rice is great for putting in lust and passion and just getting a romance really rocking and rolling and that is exactly what we want in this particular situation. So we're gonna go ahead and bless that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this red hot love rice to make passionately, madly, lustfully, and happily in love with, and make him desire to be completely and totally committed, loving, and connected with her so that they may manifest a beautiful, happy relationship together quickly and everlastingly. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so now we're gonna take our cardamom pods. These are very, very good for, um, well, romance and lust and love in general, but they're also lucky. They help to make sure that circumstances are going to go your way so that the romance has all of that well, opportunity around it to manifest. So here we go. I'm just gonna put these in here. Come on, a little easier to do with my hand. There we go. And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate these pods to make fall madly, passionately, and happily in love with. Let him manifest a complete and total joy in their relationship. Fill it with lust and passion, fill it with joy and laughter, and fill it with love, commitment, and everlasting connection between the two of them. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do it with our seeds here. Amen. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle this in. This is all about commitment, it is about dedication, and it is about stability, and it helps to really ground the spell and manifest the results that we want in a very physical, down-to-earth way. And that's a big thing we want from this, so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this seed to bring to quickly, honestly, and sincerely manifest in ways that understands and accepts that he is madly, passionately, and committedly in love with her. Let him demonstrate it with his physical passion, with his joy, with his attention, with his communication, with his dedication, and most importantly, with his consistency of effort, honesty, and presence. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. Now we got our honey. Actually using some local honey from out here in Texas. Just give it a good, generous circle here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And honey is very sweetening, attracting and sweetening. And that is what honey does. It's fantastic for love work. So here we go in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I bless and activate this honey to make insanely sweet on let him behave sweetly and kindly and lovingly and passionately towards her, yet let him think sweet thoughts about her at all times. Let her be to him the greatest sweetness in life and let him be to her the greatest sweetness in life. And I ask this with the help of the guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our roses in. Beautiful. I'm using here these orange roses. Again, orange is a color for power and strength. And we're going, we're going for that strength of manifesting in this particular situation. And the, uh, the two people that I am working this for, um, one of the things that they have requested in this work is for there to be lots of physical energy put into it. Not just sex, but physical strength and well-being. And orange is extremely good for that as well one of the reasons I'm doing this particular work for them. So let's bless this rose in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I bless and activate this rose to make passionately and everlastingly, truly and deeply in love with, let him manifest it in ways that she understands and accepts and let it be consistent, bright, brilliant, passionate, physical and loving permanently. And I ask this in the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors and angels in Jesus name. 
Amen. All right, so now we got our carnations. We have those roses there for love and physical strength, and the carnations are just here for plain old-fashioned power boosting. They help to kind of amp up any spell. So here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate these carnations to add power to the spell, make it manifest quickly, powerfully, physically, and with no obstacles or blockages. Provide the energy to both physically, mentally, and emotionally, to manifest that which we are asking here without question, without delay, without debate, and without any detriment to himself or anyone else. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, there's our carnation. And our last ingredient is the rose water. Let's see if I can get this open. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time with this. <laughs> well, if I can't get the bottle open. All right. I'm gonna take that at the moment as spirit says no. We already have roses in here. Now I will tell you what rose water normally does is it increases emotional feelings of love. It's extremely good for anchoring somebody down to what they are doing, for, to making a connection between what they are feeling and romance so that they don't just have sort of confusing feelings kind of milling about, but it magnifies it and amplifies it and puts it into emotions that they can understand as love and romance. This doesn't seem to want to open for me, so I'm not going to put it in here. I'm just going to go with that. And I would add that in, in general. If you're doing a work and there's an ingredient that just like it rolls off the table three times, it won't open, it breaks, there's a good reason for it. Just go with it. In this particular situation, I have no idea why Spirit might not want that put in hand, but I will see if I can figure out what happens, and if there's an update, I will try to supply that later. So what you're going to do with this is you're actually going to take this one outside at night, and you're gonna light the candle, and you wanna sit with it and watch it and let it burn down. You can extinguish it after a few hours and come back in. Try to work this for at least three days, but you can go as long as you need to to get the candle completely burned down. And this will start to wilt. It will also start to attract ants. I would recommend if you live in an area that has a lot of insects, you might wanna put it a little farther away from your home. Um, I'm in Texas, so this is gonna go farther out in the backyard. It's not gonna be right up close to my home, personally. And you're gonna take it outside and you're gonna light it. And it's best to wait until sunset or slightly after sundown to do so. So that is what we're gonna do for this work. Anyway, if you have a variation on this spell that you know, if you have tried this one, if you have thoughts, feelings, opinions, comments, questions, I wanna hear them, stick them down in the comments below. If you liked this spell, you can definitely give it a try. Send me your pictures, I would love to see. And you can find more of my work on Facebook or Instagram, I'm Hoodoo Delish there. And you can find me personally and email me with any questions about this or my professional services or anything else at all at hoodoodelish.com. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.